How's it going guys? My name is David Dowdy and today we're going to be doing Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. This is a game that I played first in 1992 when I was 6 years old. I uh, came to love this game. We play it all the time. First started from an uncle of mine. What, what would happen is uh, he brought over his Nintendo back in 1992 to my parents' house. He, uh, he had just gotten this game. He basically knew everything about it. Breezed through it. He had to leave home when he got to World 7 in the level where, if you remember, there's a level where all the blocks turn into coins. And anyway, uh, what happened, I'll tell you what, they just handed me the controller and said, here you go. Obviously I hit it really bad, he had 99 guys and everything, but that was my first taste of this game. Okay, but this is, uh, I'm gonna try it out for you, this is my first Let's Play, so hopefully you guys will like it and give me a couple of likes. Uh, what we're gonna do here is right away I'm gonna go for the ghost ship, it's really difficult to do, and, uh, in World 1-1. One, one. Very hard to do because usually you're not going to get a whole lot of support as far as uh, the, your score on the bottom. Like right now it's 50, you know. What you want to do is you go ahead and move, you want to get a denomination of, of 11, and then you want to stop the clock here on an even number. So I got 232, and now the, the last two numbers in the score that say 50 would have to say 30 or something about that for me to be able to make that uh, Hammer Brothers down at the bottom of the screen into a ghost ship. But it didn't happen, and so right now, we're going to breeze right here into World 1-2. This is a very fun level, and this is a level where you can get up to 99 guys. Now what you want to do, is you want to just keep bouncing off all the Goombas. They're going to keep regenerating out of the tube in the upper left corner. You want to just keep bouncing on them. Now this might, it's going to take a little bit of time, you know, and uh, but I'm here to give you guys 100% everything I know about the Mario Brothers 3 game. And so, this is just one way to you can get, if you can't get up to 99 guys, get at least a few extra guys to help you out with World 1 and so on. So, what you want to do is just keep bouncing them like this. You can do this for as long as you like. I'll just do this for a little bit longer, just to be able to get up to a few guys. But, this is the way we can get up to 99 guys right away, you know, only playing the game for like one and a half, two minutes so far. And, and you know, you never have to look back. You never have to worry about getting up to 99 guys. So they're just going to keep regenerating. What you want to do is you just want to keep fluttering and just before you hit them, that's when you hold down the A button and uh, you'll just pop up. And then you just flutter on down again and just just keep doing this just like this. This is all you got to do. You know, there's other ways in uh, Mario Bros. 3 you can get up to 99 guys. You know, the traditional way of just hammering out every three levels, you know, getting three stars up to five guys. Uh, in a Boom Boom's Castle in World 2, you can get up, just keep bouncing on the dry bones again and again. I mean, there's many ways to do it. I'll just go, uh, I'll get this last one right here. And uh, there you go. You, you already got 34 guys. Alright, now what you want to do here is there's going to be a P block. You're going to bounce on up, kill him. There's actually a 1 up right here, right above, so you hit that. It doesn't matter if he's turning coins. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll put a go with the gold ship right now. There's a feather right there, so you can get an extra little power up. There's actually a star over here, and uh, third, uh, yep, third one, there's a star. So you can grab that, and there's just a one coin right here. That's pretty much the end of the level, just like that, it's done. And we'll get our second star. And uh, now we're gonna go and breeze into level 1 3. Level 1-3 is uh, always the one if you're doing a speed run that you want to get to really quickly because you can get your first wish whistle. There's three whistles in the game. This is the level where you can get the first one. Uh, since I'm playing this game 100%, I'm not going to grab the whistle, but I'm still going to let you know where you can get it. Now what you want to do first is you can get a couple extra coins just by hitting that block right there. There's actually a power up right here below you. And then you hit this block here, it makes a magic note block. And there's three of these in the game. This magic note block takes you up here above the clouds. What you want to do is you want to grab the first two chunks of coins, grab the first three of the second one, and then you want to get a nice running start because there's actually a one up right above me. And so then you got you grab this one up here. Uh, you get the rest of the coins on the bottom right above the clouds as many as you can, and I'll let you down. Oh, this is always cool too. Trying to get this guy. Oh, missed him. Anyway, uh, right about here is where you can get the you can get the uh, whistle. What you want to do is you want to duck down like this. You want to duck down for a good five to seven seconds. It's actually going to put you down. You're going to fall down. You're going to be behind these trees here. And the way you do is you just run over here to the right. You're going to be behind the background. And then you're going to even go behind this black screen. It'll take you to a, a, a toad's. It's called a white toad's, toad's, white toad's house. 
and that's where you'll be able to get the peeling. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to do it like I said, I'm just going to just go through the game regular. Um, and so that's why I didn't get the whistle, I'm not going to get any whistles because I'm going to go through the game 100%. Uh, next thing up here is a little Toad's house, and uh, what happens in Toad's house is they always put a few random items in every single Toad's house, depending on what world you're in. This is world one, so mostly it's going to be a feather, or a mushroom, or maybe even a fire flower. So next we're here into world 1-4, and uh, the nice thing about world 1-4 is that if you get up to 44 coins that are in the level, you can get the peeling. It's going to turn into a white toad's house, and uh, then you can be able to get the white peeling, which makes you fly throughout the entire level. Any one that you want, you can just fly through. And so that's always nice to know. There's a power up right behind me. What you want to do is you just want to hit this block here and get all these coins. There's a power up right there, like I said before, in that block behind me. There's also one up right here. And uh, what you want to do, the tricky part of the of this level is coming up right here. You have a row of coins that you have to get. So we'll see if we can get that. Hit that block and then get all oh, oh I'm not gonna get the I'm not gonna get the peeling guys. You would uh I would have had to hit that block, the coin block, a few more times, but that's okay. That's how you get it. You hit that coin block a few more times, and uh, then you are eventually able to get up to 44 coins. Didn't quite make it, but that's alright. As long as I put it out there, how you're going to do everything, that's the important thing. So, we're a couple coins shy. Um, that card game, it's basically just a card game where you match up like a flower, a star, and you're able to... Um, I'll, I'll do it right after this castle here. This is this is called Boom Boom's Castle. You're gonna get one of these in every single world, all nine of them. Now there is a whistle in this as well, and the way to get the whistle is you want to get a running start here on the bottom platform. You're gonna fly up, and you're actually gonna go above this uh, above the wall on the top. You're gonna keep following that to the right, and eventually it's gonna let you into a room where the whistle is. But like I said, I'm not getting any of the whistles today, and so I'm not gonna do that for you. Uh, this here is just the regular way to go, the traditional way. You just uh, duck down, make sure you don't get hit by these spikes, go in through this door, and then uh, you go over here to the right, and you get your first encounter with Boom Boom. You're going to see this guy a lot. He's even in the games nowadays, so the Wii and the Wii U. You just stop on him three times. He's very easy. Grab the question mark, and you're done with this level. The dungeon is done. It basically leads the way. There's two more levels to do in World 1, and then, of course, the cast list is helpful. Now, I'll do this card game that I was talking about before. You just try to line up these three here, and the best way to do it, you just wait until they're underneath, and uh, a lot of it's luck. A lot of it you just have to lead it on to. This here is a card game. Now, there's 18 different card games. I usually like to start with this one right here. Sometimes it'll be a one-up, sometimes it'll be 20 points. A lot of it comes uh, on luck, on what you want to do, unless you have the player's guide with you. But, uh... You just, it's just like a matching game. So next we go here to World 1-5. Slide down immediately so you can kill all these uh, beetles here. And we kill him. And what you want to do is you want to hit over here on the left side of this and it's another magic note. And it turns into the exact same thing as in World 1-3. Level 1-3. Uh, nothing new about this. The 1-up is once again up top. You just get a running start and go get it. Oh, we got me. Well, I looked up that final time, I didn't think he would be coming down, but that's okay. And we got a mushroom this time. It's all random if you're not running at full speed. Alright, so the last level of World 1 is 1-6. One and so what we're going to do is take this turtle, kill him, get this question mark, it's going to be a feather every time for you. You can just flutter over some of this level here, and what you want to do here is get rid of this turtle. Look out. There's going to be a 1-up right here. And then uh, right here in this right block, you get some coins. Just step down before you get there so you can get underneath it. And get these coins here. 
right? And what you want to do here is if you can get a running start, you can just pretty much fly over the rest of the level. Just like this. And then you just float around down and just jump. And that's it. That's the end of all the levels in World 1. So all that's left now is the Hammer Brother and then the Castle. The Hammer Brother is very simple. It's just going to be one Hammer Brother, you just have to get underneath them and boom, gone, done. I'll get fire power here. Sometimes you get some, uh, you get a power up when you take on these guys. That's it, we have another mushroom here and then we have the castle. Alright, we got another feather. Got another feather! So now we're going to take out the Wood 1 castle, and most of it's the same. He's always going to go where it's terrible. The king has been kidnapped and transformed. The king's been transformed. I mean, please find a magic wand so we can change back. Now, in each of these ships, it's going to be one of Bowser's minions that's going to be in control of it. This is Wood 1, and uh, usually in Wood 1, they always have Lemmy, Lemmy Koopa, who's in charge of it. He's the easiest one of the Koopas. He's not very dangerous. Um, you know, so there's not a whole lot of strategy that you have to put into this. What you can do is you can hop on a couple of these. You can have fun and just keep bouncing around on these bullets. You know, it'll be a lot of fun. But get the one, I get the power up here. It's the only power up that's in this ship. So, one ship, that ship number, world number four, actually has two power ups in it. And, and this is pretty much all there is to it. There's nothing else. Oh, I lost my pipe, but that's okay. Go down the pipe here, and there he is. There's Lemmy. Yeah, twice, one more time. He's gone. Easiest one. Grab the wand, and you'll float all the way on down. So thank you guys. Watch again as I take on World 2. Because I'm going to take a little break right now. Uh, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. And, uh... I will see you guys shortly in World 2 for my next post.